What a great crowd. How are you guys doing? Woo! Yeah, well, I'm feeling pretty special tonight because I had a black guy come just to see me. And I was so touched, I told him something he'd never heard a white woman say before. Tonight, when I take the stage, will you watch my purse? <laughs> See all white people looking around nervously? But aren't there black people here? It's okay, sir, they're in the back of the bar. <laughs> I'm a criminal attorney. I do the normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill, oaky-type crimes, like DUIs, making a meth lab blowing a meth lab up, <laughs> bestiality. Let me ask, is it still bestiality if you just lay there and the animal does all the work? <laughs> oh, and, uh, and by the way, it's not entrapment just because you put peanut butter up there. <laughs> yeah, my boyfriend, he says that's old school. He uses Nutella. <laughs> and I know you fine folks didn't come to the tall saloony bin to learn how to get farm animals attracted to your genitals. I know that's weird, but that hayseed right here, he's writing it all down. <laughs> he's like, how do you spell Nutella? Not a really hard week. I just got off a five-day jury trial. It was brutal, but I won. Yeah. And when I say I won, what I mean was I didn't go to prison. Yeah, I win a lot. <laughs> No, my client was charged with a DUI, and my defense of him was, Judge, he was parked. He wasn't harming anybody. Judge says, yeah, but he was parked in the middle of the highway. You know, uh, the judge was listening pretty intense to my, you know, arguments and stuff. It was so intense at one time, I had to remind him, Judge, I'm up here. <laughs> no, I didn't always want to be a lawyer. I always wanted to be an exotic animal smuggler. Yeah, because I thought it'd be cool to finally get paid for putting tiny monkeys in my pants. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you know, I've never had kids. The thought of having another ch a person inside my body for nine months scares the crap out of me. Hell, I can't stand having another person inside me for 20 minutes. But I do have an eight-year-old niece, and sometimes I get to babysit her. She can't come to my house. She can't play with my toys. So what do I do? I take her to the mall, I put her in one of those harnesses, you know what I'm talking about? And people look at me strange and whisper, what a horrible mother. People, you need to calm down about the harness thing. You know, it's for her protection, you know, because I'm always drunk. <laughs> so how am I gonna get away with this? Next time I put her in one of those harnesses, I also put her in a shoe that's three inches taller than the other one. <laughs> And then I put her in an oversized football helmet. Whee! <laughs> then I look like freaking mother of the year. The next time I took her to the park, and she looked up at me with those big brown eyes, and she said, I'd love to play a game. With me? I was so touched. She said no. She grabs my phone, pushes me down in the mud, and starts playing a game. Well, I picked myself up. I said, you like to play Frogger? And she goes, yes! And I said, good, and I shoved her into the street. <laughs> anyway, um, before I leave, I just want to say that I hate that my gynecologist is all thumbs. <laughs> that table got it. No. no, I'm kidding. I don't hate it. Of course, it could make me feel better when I go in the office is dim the lights. Or instead of those cold stirrups, replace them with pink fuzzy handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, or shake it up once in a while, throw in a butt plug. <laughs> Hell, that's why I like my dentist so much. Thank you guys very much. I'm Sheila Nafee.